Welcome back. As we get closer and closer to clear the shelters, which is in August every year, we've got Deborah Jobs here this morning from the SPCA of East Texas. And we've got Porthos, one of three, I hear. Yes, yes, he is one of the three musketeers. We got three little boys from the city of Tyler Shelter. Uh, they came in a few weeks ago, and they're fully vetted now and ready for a family. This little guy is, he's 15 weeks old. He's going to grow into these paws. I was about to say, those are some big feet on this guy. So he's going he's gonna to be a, a, what we would consider a large dog, not super large, but he's probably going to weigh 55 or 60 pounds as an adult male. This personality, I cannot say enough. He has been with me for the last hour. He's mellow. He's quiet. He rides in the car. And you're so sweet. Yes, yeah. you are. He's affectionate. That's the thing. Y'all, he, he's been in here for the past 20, 30 minutes, hasn't made a peep. And, you know, this is usually very stimulating activity for some of the puppies you bring right. in. I see themselves on all the TVs, oh, yeah. and they're all over the place. This guy is like, well, I'm he's been chilling. playing with his brothers all morning, okay. so maybe this is morning nap time. <laughs> I don't know. But if you're looking for a buddy, uh, a good running buddy, or some, if you're an outdoorsman, he's a he's a Catahoula, which um, they're great outdoor they're dogs. Gorgeous, and he's beautiful. He's just gorgeous. So if you are looking for a buddy with some, you know, he's gonna he's gonna need exercise. He's not just gonna lay around all day, but but he's also gonna be a great house companion and and couch potato when it's time to watch some football maybe yeah he's so good Deborah you know obviously adopting an animal needs to be done so we can clear the shelters but it's Absolutely. also a huge commitment and we've seen so many stories more than I think in the past three years here in East Texas of dumping dogs and cats and puppies and kittens all just on side streets hello angel Say hi. Um, I mean, can you just speak to, you know, the, making sure that you're ready for that commitment? It is a commitment. And certainly people have things happen and life changes. Right. But, but you really need to think about the ability to, first of all, afford the needs of a dog or cat and to spend the time that they need. I mean, these are siblings. Those are, those are siblings, yeah. <laughs> I mean, these are companion animals. They don't want to spend every hour of every day of every year out in the backyard alone. Oh so if you've got time uh, and you've got a little disposable income, we can coach you through that, let you know what you're looking at. What do you see? Huh? You want to watch some more TV? What's the matter? <laughs> huh? Okay. He said, please take me home. Can somebody <laughs> adopt me? Um, I can't stress enough, though. With with the pandemic, especially, lots of lots of life changes, illness, death, right. loss of home, loss of job. A number of animals have had to be surrendered, mm -hmm. and so all of the rescues in town are working overtime. Yeah. And you can find some amazing family members if you just give us a call. And if people want to browse any of the animals that you have up for adoption currently or want to apply to be a foster or apply to adopt, where can they do that? SPCAEastTX.com. Just give us a call. It was a pleasure meeting you. Hey, thank sweet, you. Sweet little boy. Glad to be back. <laughs> After yeah. the break, we'll take